So a problem like this is very similar to an empirical formula problem. Um, let's try it. It says a 3.10 gram sample of anhydrous nickel-2 sulfate was exposed to moist air. If 5.62 grams of a hydrate of nickel-2 sulfate was obtained, what is the formula of the hydrate? Okay. So in order to do this, we have to understand that anhydrous nickel-2 sulfate means nickel-2 sulfate without the water associated with it. Okay, and it's going to make the hydrate as the product. So, turn off your phones, okay. So, we're going to have something like that, plus x amount of water, and I don't know, we could say gas, goes to nickel 2 sulfate x H2O salt. So does everybody understand that that's the equation that we're going to be working with? Okay, so, well, what do we need to do? We need to figure out how many moles of nickel 2 sulfate we've got to start out with. So, I calculated the molar mass of this earlier. What did we get? 154.73. So 154.73 grams. One mole. Cancel that out.
Does everybody okay with that? Right, so what would our formula be? Nickel to sulfate heptahydrate, okay? Or NiSO4 dot 7H2O, okay? And if we wanted to name it, it would be nickel to sulfate heptahydrate. Why would I say, why do I keep saying nickel to? Because nickel is a transition metal, so we have to remember, say, nickel to, okay? So let's just write out the name of this thing. So, nickel to sulfate hepta hydrate. Okay. So the two is because nickel's a transition metal. Hepta means seven, hydrate means one. Any questions on doing something like this? So I know we've been doing things like this for a long time. I think this was chapter three or chapter four material. Um, and I know we've done a few of these in the lab, so.